Good morning, this is Pastor Philip Dacre here from the IAFM um, in UK. This is the International Association of Faith Ministries. I'm here today to build up your faith and to enable you to receive your miracles and healings and forgiveness and to walk in the power of God and in victory in Jesus Christ. Today we have been given victory. Do you understand that? This is not some shallow, crass, prosperity kind of victory. This is true victory in spirit and truth. We walk like Jesus walked. We meant to walk like Jesus walked. And we meant to talk like Jesus talked and do like Jesus did. Let those who live in him walk in him, the Bible says. Now this is not always easy because sometimes you've got to overcome the flesh and temptations and all sorts of other sins and things that hang on to you to try and make you earthbound. But if you'll overcome those things, and God will give you time to do that, you will fly in the spirit and you'll be enabled to rise above all your situations, to claim healing, to claim deliverance, to claim victory in spirit, soul and body to claim those things that are yours and have been given to you by the death of Jesus Christ. He took your diseases, not just your sins. He delivered all of you from demons. Now you can either believe this or don't believe it. Whichever you believe, that's what you're going to receive. But the truth is, the Bible says that these things are yours, that you're seated with him in heavenly places right now, not sometime in the future, right now, but you have to claim it, you have to take hold of it, you have to stand on the word and believe it. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God, faith in God that is. You might have faith in a motor car or faith in a chair that you sit on, but the faith that you require in God is to believe what God says is yours. Now, you know, we break bread and take wine call it communion sometimes. What did Jesus do on that cross? What did he do when he reconciled us who are dying to he who is the author of life? How do you get reconciled to life without getting life? Amen. This is an anomaly. You can't die prematurely if you're linked to the author of life, how can that be? Either your dying uh, is opposite to the, to the author of life, or it's the beginning of the author of life. But the fact of the matter is that Jesus came to bring you life and life more abundantly. He said, there's a thief who tries to steal life. It's not me. It's not God's will that people should die early and go to a grave in agony and in terror. Good people being manipulated and driven by demons. How can that be? You know, Satan can have a hold on you for a while. You can be a slave and enslaved to sin and to demonic powers for a while. But a son of the house lives in the house forever, not a servant. A servant can be enslaved for a season. You can be a servant of sin for a while. But if you're a son of God, you'll break free eventually. Now, healing is yours. Deliverance is yours. S uh, forgiveness of sin is yours. Freedom from condemnation and the law is yours. All these things make you free. By grace you are saved. By grace you'll continue. By grace you'll finish the course. It's grace that teaches us to not to do ungodly things. It is not the law that beats us to death to try to stop us from doing ungodly things that works. It's grace. How many times must you forgive your brother? Do you think God is not going to forgive you more than you can forgive your brother? You know, we can fall down a thousand times, but we must get up. We must get up and fly. 
We must overcome these things by spirit power, not by flesh. Beating the flesh will never get you delivered. It's the love of God that makes you get delivered. The love of God says, my God, he forgave me again and again and again. How could he do this? Obviously he loves me, obviously he cares. And the love of God is the thing that wins through. This is our victory over the world. Even our faith in God, the Bible says. This is our victory. 1 John chapter 5. You see, this is our victory. Even our faith, our trust, our love of God. That makes us to overcome this world. Let me build your faith. John 10.10 10 says... The thief comes to steal, to rob, and to destroy, to kill. But I came to bring life. Life to what? Life to your body, life to your soul, life to your mind, life to your family, life to your finances. Life to life. Life means life. We're not here to twist words and make them suit our religious fanaticism. Just take it simple. Make it simple. Life is life. And everywhere that Jesus went, he, being the tree of life, brought life freely. Freely I give, he says. Freely I give it to you. He brought life to everyone who asked him for healing. He healed them all. He never let one to teach people how to endure sickness. We are not here to endure sickness. We are not here to ha be uh, submitted to demon control. We have to endure persecution by people because we love them. But we are not here to accept any demonic subjection and oppression and suppression of our being. This is not what God ordered. This is the devil at work, the one that steals and kills and destroys. He's the one that robs you of life. God, through Jesus Christ, brings you life. I'd like to pray for you right now. As many as know me know my voice, says Jesus Christ. And my voice is sure, and its promise is true. My voice is complete, and my words will cut the dross and death from your life, body, soul, and spirit, says the Lord. The Lord says, put on the armor of God that I have supplied you with. To the right, chop to the left, be certain to use the sword of the Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I heal you now. I bless you now in Jesus' name. I bless you with favor, prosperity, and the blessings of God. To you who receive, put your hand upon the computer and just link with me right now in Jesus' name. I am the channel of God's blessing to you. And I impart to you every favor and every blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now Jesus tells us through his word, the Bible, that he came to bring life, and life more abundantly. In 2 Peter 1 verse 3 it tells us that God has given us everything we need for life and for godliness. Everything. Now prosperity is not prosperity of materialism. Prosperity is the prosperity of the kingdom of God that he's imparted to you. Enough provision to live enough money to get by with, to have clothes and food. These are the promises of God, not luxury, not prosperity of materialism, but prosperity of soul. 
and it includes material benefits and satisfied life. God bless you all.